I've done videos and put out many tweets. Follow the show on Twitter if you want to see them and go look through the history. Talking about how stupid this Wednesday night war is when it comes to professional wrestling. I mean, this is stupid. Of course, it's petty level Vince. It's Vince's fault. Vince started it. You say, well, Tony Khan and the EVPs, they started AEW. Technically, they started it. No. Let's be fair to them. There's nothing wrong with creating another wrestling company, especially if you have the financial backing of a billionaire and you have the buy-in of a major network like TNT. That's good for all of us and most certainly good for the business. Um, they're the ones that w announced they were going on to Wednesday nights. And then, of course, Vince... Being the petty ass that he always is, surely maybe with a little influence from the network, but uh, this is more of a Vince decision. They put NXT up against Dynamite on Wednesday nights because it's Vince trying to play a finite game where on the one hand, he's talking out of both sides of his mouth, pretending that AEW is not competition, yet on the other hand, doing everything he can to take his eye off the ball of his own stuff in his own business and trying to treat AEW as the competition. Like, that's what he's doing. Instead of worrying about growing his brand and improving his product, he literally took his C-show off the network, put it on USA on Wednesday nights, to intentionally cock-block AEW. Now, you could debate the merits in the comments as to whether or not you think that's a good business strategy or not, but I don't. I think it's freaking stupid. I get where some of the benefits could potentially come in, you nip a competitor in the bud before they get a real chance to flower. It's a way for you to help maintain and continue your control and kind of monopoly over the larger pro wrestling landscape because if AEW makes it to a certain level of bigness, if you will, uh, it's going to artificially drive up cost for you because it's going to cost you more to keep talent, put more pressure on you to invest more in production values for your shows, etc. I get all of that, but there's also a piece that that's really healthy because that will help bring out the best in you naturally. It will also give you a chance to see wrestling become a little more relevant as a whole and you get caught up in some of that blowback as a result. Like if we're gonna learn the lessons of the Monday Night Wars, by God, then let's really learn every fucking one of them, not just some of them. But this has always been a petty exercise and all it's done is hurt both shows. Dynamite hasn't had the chance to really be able to stand on it its own. I could talk about the different things that they do that are dumb. I could talk about the fact that they seem to be consciously, and they have mentioned flat out, that they're intentionally only targeting the hardcore fans, which is stupid. Why would you limit yourself, you morons? But, nonetheless, they've been doing it, and they can't get above a million viewers and consistently crack one million viewers, whereas... You know, depending on the week, they might end up with 900,000 viewers or 700 or 750. And you look at NXT, and a lot of weeks it's 750 viewers or 600,000 viewers or 550,000 viewers. And at some point in time, this madness has to stop. Because instead of having NXT potentially be its own brand on its own night, that does maybe 800,000 to a million viewers and being a successful, sustainable, viable wrestling show which in some ways you could argue is more profitable to you than a Raw brand because Raw, you're paying a shit ton more money for the performers on that show compared to what you're doing on NXT. And if you think that the NXT guys are getting paid Raw and SmackDown money, you're fucking insane. Give me a break. But then AEW would have had a chance with Dynamite to have their show on its own night, you know, potentially get a million or more viewers. And as a result, now you're talking about WWE with three shows that are legit, three shows that do a number enough that networks want to deal with them and advertisers want to buy into your product. And then you could have had AEW do the same damn thing and have a show. So you're talking about in the span of a week, having four wrestling shows that are viable, that are sustainable, that are productive enough to where you could continue to justify their existence. That would be a tremendous positive for all parties involved. And for a long time, a lot of us have been talking about the pettiness and the stupid stupidity and the ignoramusness of this Wednesday night war and begging and pleading for WWE to take NXT and put it on a different night. And they have stubbornly dug in and there might be something to it that 
the network, you talk about USA, may have wanted them in that slot on Wednesday night because it was still a better number than they were going to get with anything else they would put in that time slot. And maybe that's true. But there, there comes a point in time where you have to be realistic and you have to say, like, if you want this to succeed, you have to readjust strategy and you have to change your thinking. And sometimes those decisions happen outside of your control, like your, your hand kind of gets pushed here a little bit. And I think that's kind of what's happening because the reports are is that the WWE, it sounds like maybe as soon as the first NXT after WrestleMania in April, is going to permanently be moving NXT to Tuesday nights. Yeah! I'm sure totally of their own volition, except for most likely due to the NFC, NBC Sports Network going away, having to have a home for hockey, and potentially having USA put hockey on that network on Wednesday night, so NXT's got to go somewhere else or it's got to kick rocks. Well, they don't want it to kick rocks, so it's got to go somewhere else. So the WWE's hand is probably getting forced here. And I'm sure that's a reasonable expectation. But damn it all, sometimes regardless of how you get to the decision or not, it does not matter. Is do you make the right decision at the end of the day? And if this proves out to be true, and this is indeed what is going to happen, this is a net positive, a net gain for everybody. It absolutely, positively is. For AEW, the fact that they could potentially run unopposed on Wednesday nights uh, in terms of the wrestling landscape, like it could put greater pressure on AEW if they don't consistently top 1 million viewers because you would no longer have that crutch or excuse of, well, NXT cipher, siphoning our way our audience. Si NXT is cock blocking. If you took the two viewership numbers together, they'd be like 1.4, 1.5 million viewers. Like, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. But, you know, mathematically, I get what you're trying to say. But it gives AEW the chance, the chance, what you do with it is a different story. It's about chance and opportunity and what you do to seize upon it or don't. AEW has a chance here, if this is what's going to happen, to kind of take over Wednesday night a little bit from a wrestling standpoint, be unimposed, hopefully get some of those NXT folks and other wrestling folks to come watch their show on Wednesday night and potentially start doing a million plus viewers. You get NXT out of there, you'll get a real true gauge for where AEW is. Because if NXT is no longer running opposite them on Wednesday night, and AEW is only doing 700 or 800,000 viewers, then it'll tell you not everything is fantastic and splendiferous as AEW and their freaking sheep-ass bot marks want to make it out to be. And then for WWE, this is a chance here with NXT to get it kind of out of the doldrums and shake some stuff up and get it to stand on its own and not be worried about what the other is doing. Be focused on me, myself, and I, so to speak, and be focused just on what you're doing with NXT. As God knows, every time I tune into one of those takeover shows every two or three months, I wonder what in the hell are they doing? What the hell has happened? Like, it's really crappy. And that's reflected in the ratings, period. It absolutely is. And just because you might be a hardcore fan watching this, you'd be like, well, I love NXT. Good for fucking you, but a lot of other people don't, and that's why more people don't watch it. You probably would still watch it if they made some positive changes, but until they make some positive changes, more people won't consistently be watching it. So now here is a chance for NXT to focus, be on its own night, not be consumed with anything else, focus on themselves. Here's a chance to say Tuesday night, we're not going up any against other wrestling, and now I know some smart asses are going to say Impact Wrestling, to which I say, what's your point? Who cares about them? Exactly. Exactly. You know, and if you get a slight uptick in your viewership for NXT because you switch away from Wednesday night and the petty level Vince war on Wednesday night to go to Tuesday night, you know, you gain 100 or 200,000 viewers out of this and you get a slightly better performance in your Meltzer demo, then obviously that's a win too. I don't care the motivation for it. I don't care the reason for it at this point. This is something that we've been talking about for a long time. I know I certainly have, and many of you have as well. We're all in alignment and agreement. Like, this needed to happen. This was stupid. This was senseless. And it, they were just cannibalizing each other. And you could continue down that path, or you could think bigger picture, kind of the infinite game. 
of what are you going to do? How are you going to focus on yourself? How are you going to make yourself the best? What's your vision for the future in 6, 12, 24, 36, 48 months? Like, what do you see yourself being? And this helps them to be focused on that, which again is exactly where the focus needs to be. So I think this is a positive. I really do. I know I get associated with being negative a lot, but I'm probably more positive than sometimes I give them credit for, with plenty of negativity certainly sprinkled in. Um, now, both companies could get these shows on their individual nights and not do shit with it. And in a couple of months, we'll be talking about the viewership numbers or demo performances are exactly the same. So you're going to say, okay, now what does that mean? And that could certainly happen. But this is worth a shot. So I hope this is true because WWE needs to get NXT off of Wednesday night for, importantly for them, their product, but also for AEW's product for the larger scope, the bigger picture. You know, it's, it's got to happen. So I hope this is true and I hope it happens because we've been, we've been waiting for this to happen for almost a year and a half now. It's long since been time. 